nothing is more exciting than buying your first home. And this two bed new build could be just the one. Let's go check it out. Now designing your first home, I appreciate, can be a really daunting experience. You've got the whole house to think about and you're possibly making some big investments with new furniture and stuff. But I've got a few tips here to help you get it right. So first of all, I think when you're investing in those quite expensive pieces, like the sofa for example, it's a good idea to go for a neutral. So be that a pale grey sofa or something quite simple and beige, but that doesn't mean I'm going to let you off the hook when it comes to colour. You can then add colour more affordably with your accessories, a large colourful rug on the floor for example, a collection of artwork, or my favourite, splash out on some paint, because seriously, paint is the most affordable and transformational way to really add a new sense of style to a room. But what colour to go for? Should you go dark and dramatic or pale and interesting? Well, I'm not going to tell you that because that is your job to really work out what it is you love and find your own sense of style. So, hop onto Pinterest, open up an Instagram account, follow people who really inspire you, look for rooms that really give you the chills and that way you can work out your own sense of style. And when it comes to paint, the news is the trend in interior design is no longer for one feature wall. Oh no, this is a all wall strategy when it comes to rolling out the colour in your home. So you want to invest in lots of tester pots, see what they look like on each wall of the room as the light changes throughout the day and then just go for it. So, the master bedroom and nothing presents itself as quite the exciting opportunity to unleash your inner interior designer as creating a luxurious and glamorous bedroom. And the good news is, is you can keep it looking really boutique without completely smashing your budget. So, a few tips on how to do that. First of all, scale up. Go really big. So, I'm thinking really large upholstered headboard here in this bedroom with a couple of large lamps either side. You really don't want to go titchy with this one. You could even invest in a lovely twinkly chandelier overhead. And then it's all about adding the accessories and layering all those beautiful textures. So I'm thinking velvet, silk, cashmere when you're picking out cushions and throws to dress the bed. Another way to make a real style statement in the bedroom is with wallpaper and seriously wallpaper has never been quite so fashionable as it is in interior design right now and I'm talking about really large scale quite flamboyant prints and patterns as well so possibly too much to put on all four walls so instead invest in just a couple of rolls and do one wall like a mural if you like always pick the wall where the headboard of the bed goes against that way, when you walk into the room, you get the full splendour of the pattern. But while you're in bed, relaxing in the evening, you don't have to look at it. And then it's all about creating that right vibe, the right feeling in the space. So I'm thinking low level lighting, maybe a couple of scented candles and no giant TV opposite the bed. That is a complete passion killer. 